Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth, uh, rainy, cloudy, about 60. Temperature's not bad, uh, but just not a great day. Tomorrow, 70, Candy. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yes, we're excited about uh, the weather tomorrow, and uh, hopefully we get some uh, more sunshine than we are going to get today. By the way, may I just say, it is May 4th, and I am not a Star Wars fan, but to anyone who is, please don't come into the office today saying, May May the 4th be with you. I mean, it's just absurd. And, you know, most of these people who are saying it are uh, uh, adult men, Candy, and it's just, stop. We understand... (laughs) I mean, I, and, and it's fine to love a movie. I love Almost Famous. I don't walk around quoting lines mm, from it all well, day. we do walk around quoting lines from it. Maybe not every day, but we do do it. We reference lines on the air. It's all happening. But yes. we don't wait for a specific day no, and say... No, that's true. There's no Almost Famous day for that. I mean, it's just absurd. May the 4th be with you. Please, if you are... I'm trying to think of a cutoff age... For, for being able to say I that. I would say maybe 13. I was going to go a little higher because you still, in, in in middle school and high school, you're still, I think, able. Like, if you're 15, 16, I think it's okay. I think if you're a senior in high school or above, we got to stop. May the 4th be with you. Just, I, you know, I watch four weddings every now and then on TLC, which is they compete who has the best wedding. One time, the groom was a big Star Wars fan. Yeah. They literally had the laser thing. He walked down to Star Wars theme. It was insane. Yeah. It's it's, it's a bit much. I got to yeah, be honest with you. a bit much when you're, you're getting married on your wedding day. Now, I will say on the flip side, um, to, to give a little time to the other side, like equal time, like a political commercial candy, equal time, I would say um, it must be kind of cool to be a – big fan of something like that where it you take it with you every day and it inspires you i understand but it's a little the star wars thing is a little absurd a little people a are a little insane yes <laughs> definitely no question about it <laughs> i you know it, like with any good topic there are some people driving right now who absolutely 100 percent agree with us and some people who want to debate this because they think Star Wars is the greatest thing. But there is somebody in our office, and, and one of the reasons I'm getting so animated about it, mm. there is somebody in our office who is uh, very closely related to the boss. I will leave it at that, Candy. Uh-oh. Who is a big Star Wars fan. And if he's listening, I'm sure I'm going to hear about it today. This is actually a test to see if he does listen to the show. Uh, because I'm sure it'll be the first thing he brings up when he, uh, if he sees me today. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, may the fourth be with you, Ken. I hope everyone you meet today says that to you. <laughs> okay? I hope they aggravate you so. Yes, it is. It's a, it's a bit a touch aggravating. Uh, how about this? And this makes sense because, uh, some young people graduating college have expectations that their life is going to be so grand and amazing. Um, college graduates are overestimating in their minds their starting salary coming out of college by by more than $50,000, kid. Mm, Yes, I was one of them, and that was many years ago when I thought, oh, I am going to be a rock and roll DJ. I am going (laughs) to play whatever songs I want. I'm going to make a fortune. Well, here I am. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) Here you are, in a basement with me. Yeah, yeah. Um, A new study found that current college students expect to get a $103,000 starting salary. Sorry, I'm laughing. I apologize for that. Yeah, yeah. Right right after graduation. Um, Yeah. That that is a bit much. That is overestimating by more than $50,000. Now, if you did it, congratulations. Yes. Uh, the the subjects, if you want to even come close to that, that you should be studying, computer science has an average salary to start $76,000. Oh, 
Not bad. Engineering students, $74,000. Yes. Uh, communications degrees, that's where it dips, $56,000. And humanities students at about 51000 on average, Candy, on average. Right. Uh, so to all of those going to college, listen, we're I, college is a great thing. I talk to my kids about it all the time. Listen, if my uh, kids hadn't gone to college, they wouldn't have the jobs they have now. And they're that's right. doing very well, way they're, better than me. They are, they are both doing well. They're, that's right. They're not broadcasting with a neurotic, uh, almost 50-year-old man exactly. in the basement exactly. in Long Island. They love listening. Yes. They love us. But of, yeah, they're doing better than you us. You know why they love us? Because we talk about them all the time. <laughs> That Evan, especially. I mean, he loves when his name is mentioned, boy. Forget it. He does love it. Of course he does. Casey, I think, wants to fly under the radar more than... Uh, he, yes, you're so right about more, that. More than Evan, yeah. Uh, anyway, so when if you're going to college, have some realistic expectations, okay? Do, and do your, you know, go get your internships, work, meet, network. That was my problem. I didn't network properly. Like, I thought, oh, I'm not kissing anybody's butt. But I was wrong. And networking is a really great thing. Well, of course networking is a great thing, yes. I wasn't a good networker. Well, you know, what's interesting is college will help you get your first job. Once you have your first job, it's all about who you know and being in the right place at the right time, Candy. That really That's true. That's true. That's well, that's what it comes down to. I'm yeah. very happy with uh, my present situation. Oh, listen. Talking to you every day is... Is what I live for. I couldn't have dreamed of anything uh, greater. When I was 10, driving on the Belt Parkway with my oh, parents. Oh, not this story. And I heard you. It was like 1983, and I heard this woman coming over the radio with that raspy voice. And I said, one day, Pop, one day, I'm going to work with that woman. You do that, son. <laughs> you do that. Are. Could you get out of college after eight years, though, please? It's yes. enough. Here we are. Less than 20 minutes to your bald and the beautiful entertainment, everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Uh, 60 or so today, but cloudy and some rain tomorrow. Much better, about 70. My, yeah, that's tomorrow. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.